Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vishwesh Programming. Hope you are all doing good. Before me representing the intro of the YouTube channel, I would like to convey you this video is on Python programming. So in this particular video on the Python programming, I am going to speak upon the topic of list. So on the topic of list, I am going to cover upon all the concepts like okay, how to create the list, how to access the list, list repetition, list concatenation, mutable, immutable. And not only these kind of kind of particular topics, I am going to cover up all the topics which are related to the concept of list so please don't miss the video watch the video until the end and my previous video on, Py on python was named as the comparing strings and naming variables so if you haven't checked out that particular video i'll be representing the link in the description so please do watch that particular video too so what are you waiting for let's check out the intro guys <music> So hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel okay in the previous video i just told about the my AI project building just three hours so it will be similar to like uh, chat gpt in the chat gpt kind of project i just explained the okay remaining AI tools like uh, okay hugging face cried your long chain google collab so each and every kind of uh, okay AI tools which were helpful to build like chat gpt kind of websites so i just explained not only that as i have mentioned in the introduction the video named as the comparing strings and naming variables on python and problem solving using python okay python programming and uh, again okay, not only that how to lock up folders how to download mysql loop control statements using python okay and nested loops okay what do you mean by just setting extra uh, string slicing and loops in python problem solving conditional statements in python logical operators in python so each and everything i just mentioned in my youtube channel which is known as the visual programming so please do open the okay youtube channel and just check out your favorite video in my youtube channel okay let's get into the topic the first topic was nothing but the creating a list second one was accessing list items third was once the list concatenation fourth one was list repetition fifth slice and extended slicing convert, okay, converting to list and list and string mutability okay so first thing let us uh, before we get into the topic we just have to know about the data structures so data structures data structures allow us to store and organize the data efficiently in which allows us to easily access and perform the operations on the data so if you're just having some kind of particular data or its information if you just want it to store in uh, uh, store and organize it in, in an efficient manner by using the data structures you can in which you can just easily access it and perform any kind of operations like delete and okay adding into it okay so this is all, all about the data structures in data structures there are four uh, okay built-in data structures okay so let us know about it so four built-in data structures which was namely as a list tuple set and dictionary okay in which we are going to talk about the list okay so let us get into, get into the topic okay yeah list so list is more versatile python data structure holds an ordered sequence of item so it is a versatile python data structure which holds the ordered sequence of item we just check out the example like in the given index indexes some values are mentioned so let us get into the topic so creating a list so created by lists are created by enclosing uh, elements with the square bracket by using the square bracket you can just create a list and by using the comma you can just separate it it will be as simple as that by using the square brackets you can just create it by using the comma you can just separate the values given in the particular list so let's get into the code playground for more understanding so if you just check out the particular code out here so a is equal to 2 list underscore a that is equal to 5 okay uh, okay i just mentioned the variable as a is equal to 2 and then i just uh, in the second line if you just check it out list underscore a is equal to 5 6 a 8.2 and print underscore print off type of list and print and print off list underscore a so in this third and fourth line they were given the print statement so if you just click on the this type of function is used to is used for the knowing the which class type so if it is just mentioned in this set or else it is, if, i mean if we just mentioned the tuple dictionary whatever it is you're going to get the list okay you're going to get which type of of class it is and print off a list of a means in the a variable a in the a variable number two value is stored right so that that one we are going to get in the output so if you just click on the run code we are going to get 5 6 2 and 8.2 and we just given two print statements right so first type of function we'll be getting this class as list and third one we are going to getting that we are going to i mean in the fourth line we are going to execute that we are going to get uh, a i mean in the a variable we are going to get two so let me click on the run code whether i am getting the actual output or not okay yeah i got the actual output so class type was nothing but the list and we just got five six and a variable as two 
and okay a value a, which is known as a variable as 2 and 8.2 so second topic which was known as the creating a list okay let us get into the code playground for more better, better understand so in order of creating a list same example so a is equal to 2 list underscore is equal to a 5 6 and here list underscore b what i'm going to do was if when i'm going to click okay uh, click on list underscore b what i'm going to get yeah you are going to get list in list so 5 6 2 8.2 one and again you are going to get this particular one okay so i mean you are going to get one with with this kind of list underscore a so i'm going to get list b and i'm going to get list a so whether i'm get going to get the particular i mean mentioned one or not well, let me check it out okay so we are going to get uh, list underscore a and list underscore b that means the output will be as one and five six and the a mentioned variable you're going to get two and eight point let me click on the run code okay yeah we got the output as one five six two eight point two yeah it was the actual output okay let us move on to the next topic okay we will be getting the same accurate output if you just uh, want to try it out you can just try, try it on on your own okay without wasting wasting the much more time let us move on to the next topic so in order of calculating the length of the string okay for more better understanding let us get into the code playground okay so for calculating the length of the string uh, length of the string it's very easy you all know right so we have to use len of function if you haven't watched my previous videos please do watch the previous videos as because you'll be moving more get up more better understanding so by using this len of function you're going to learn the length of the string so same example so the length of the string was one two three and four let me check it out so i'll i'm going to click on the run code and i got the four as the output so by using the length of function then of function you can just take it out okay it's very simple as that okay Ch okay it's very it is very very easy next one accessing list items to access elements of the list we use indexing so what we are going to use indexing so if, if in order of accessing the list in the items we are going to use the indexing method so what i'm going to do was a of one so you you can guy you guys can guess yeah a of one means what you're going to get the output yeah you guys guessed correct we will be getting the output as six yeah we will be getting the output as six as because a is equal to two the same variable will be coming out and when i click on the list of a of one so zero in zero zero place mentioned value is five and the one place in one place it is like six and in the second one it is two and fourth one it is 8.2 so when i click on the run code i will be getting the output as six as because i just mentioned the okay a of one element right okay i'll be getting the output as 6 so let me click on the run code whether i'm getting the output as 6 or not okay yeah i just click on the run code division check check it out yeah i got the output as 6 it's very simple as that okay okay let us move on to the okay by uh, without uh, wasting if you just want to check it out with other example you can just click on 2 so in 2 means you'll be getting the variable as yeah you guys guessed correct you'll be getting the value as 2 let me check it out yeah you got the output as two yeah let, let us move on to the next topic so next topic was yeah yeah wait yeah we'll be going on so by this you can just uh, check it out okay it's very very simple so without wasting our time okay uh, you can move on to the next topic okay like uh, let us go into the next topic yeah the next topic was iterating over a list what it is it is iterating over a list if you just want to iterate over a list you just have to choose this kind of particular code yeah you, what you're going to get the output was if you just check out this particular code in the code playground so okay a is equal to 2 and list underscore a is 5 6 a comma 8.2 so if you just click on for item in list of a what i'm going to get the output yeah you guys guessed correct yeah some of you may have guessed correct so by using this uh, iteration for using this iteration method you will be using this for loop okay if you just haven't watched my previous videos on the for loop i will be mentioning the link in the description please do watch it out so by using this for loop you can just iterate any kind of list okay in the given value set so by using this for loop you can just do it so what i'm going to get in this particular one was for item in uh, range we just click given right for item so let me click on the run code for item in list right we will be getting the 5 6 2 and 8.2 yeah winner order wise yeah you some of you guys guessed correct so congratulations okay so by using this iteration if you want to use this iteration method you can use for loop so we will be getting this particular output like 5 6 2 8.2 yeah it is very simple as that by using this kind of for loop okay for loop function okay for loop 
okay you will be getting this ordered rate of elements in the given set of values yeah it's very simple okay you okay, uh, can like 5 6 not only that you can if you want you can just change the uh, values in it and if you just you can just try it out yeah okay it's very simple and after changing the values you just go on the run code you'll be getting the output as the same by i mean if you just give the set of particular way okay values so like that only you can just try out each and everything out here like uh, the same one if you just observe you have to use main mainly you have to keep in mind that we will be using the for loop we just want to iterate okay items so we'll be if you click on the run code out here we'll be getting the output class 5 6 a 8 point so let us move on to the next topic which is known as the list concatenation in the list concatenation we will be using the operator as plus okay for more understanding let us move on to the code playground so in the list underscore a in the first one we just given uh, in the list one two three and in the b with double quotes i just given a b and c so if you just click on the uh, concatenation list concatenation by using the operator as plus what we are going to get the output yeah you guys guess it correct so one two three a b and c we are going to get the output as 1, 2, 3 and A, B and C. This was the particular output which, are, which we are going to get. So this was this will be done by using the operator plus. Yeah, for by using this operator plus you are going to uh, okay concatenate. I mean you are going to concatenate this particular two kind of lists. Okay, it's very simple as that. Okay, so let me click on the run code out here. Okay whether I am getting the output as same or else whether I am getting the output as bad one yeah if we just observe 1 2 3 a b and c you will be getting the exact output it's very simple so by using this operator plus you can just you will be getting the output as 1 2 3 a b and c so not only this you can just try out with your own example in the list to in the list don't forget to mention the bracket so if, if you want to create a list you just have to use the brackets function so in which you can you, you can be creating the list okay it's very simple as that okay next topic was adding items to the list so many of you will be getting the doubt okay you're just telling okay we can contact next so what happens so is there any possibility to add items into the list yes there is the possibility to add items into the okay list so for by the following code if you just observe this particular code so list underscore a i just given the i just declared the empty list and then i just declared a print underscore a okay i mean we will be in the first case you will be getting the output as empty list okay and then i am using the for loop okay you know that for loop and so in the for loop uh, what it what uh, what is going to happen was so let me uh, before me telling it uh, let me take out this two one okay these three lines and let me click on the first one let me execute it okay when i execute one when i execute it you'll be getting the okay sorry uh, some kind of trouble connectivity yeah you'll be getting the output as empty list as because i did not mention any kind of code i'm just uh, telling to mention it in list underscore so when i click when i uh, paste on the, these kind of three lines by using the for loop so one comma four okay and list of a plus is equal to i so print of list of list underscore a okay yeah you guys have guessed it right correct so you are going to get the accurate output as one two three yeah yeah guys you just guessed it correct you are going to get the output as one two and three but you have mentioned the two print statements right so in the first print statement we are going to get the empty list and in the second print statement what we are going to get one two and three as the last number won't be printed if you just want to print the last number you just have to given you have to give one two okay uh, one comma five so in order of getting the last statement you just have to keep in mind if you just want to print the last statement you have to give one more than the other number so let me check out uh, like in, let me check it out yeah so for, for the first we just got uh, only empty string right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run out the code right now so if after running out the code we are going to get the actual output as uh, empty strings and then we are going to get the okay output as one two and uh, three so if you just ob uh, observe the code clearly then only you're just going to get in the mind otherwise it will be some sort of a tricky one why did i got like this it's there is nothing tricky in it if you just understand the code it is very easy for you okay it's very very easy okay observe the go code carefully if you just want to note it down okay note it down okay let me click on the run code right now okay i'm going to click on the run code whether i'm getting the same output or not what i have told you yeah we got the same out first to at the first print statement we just we will be getting one which one will be getting the empty list and the, at the second we will be getting the one two and three okay 
it's very very easy okay if you just if you, whatever you will be mentioning in the compiler or whatever you will be mentioning in the code the compiler understands and will be giving you the output next one repetition of the string repetition of the list so by using the into operator repeats the list by using this kind of into so star right it why in the python we will be calling as the we will be using it as the into operator right so by using it will be uh, getting okay will be repetition of the string will be performed for example if you just observe this kind of code list underscore a 1 comma 2 and list underscore b a into 3 so what we are going to get the output as yeah some of you guys have correct, uh, guessed it correct some of you not major of you so we are going to get the output as 1 2 1 2 1 2 yeah we are going to get the output as 1 2 1 2 1 2 as because we just use this multiplication kind of operator and we are just telling it to mention it three times so we are going to get the output as 1 2 1 2 1 2 so don't worry so i am going to click on the run code right now okay let me check it out whether it is going to get the output uh, i mean output as 1 2 1 2 or 1 2 or it or else it was getting the more numbers okay so let me let me let me click on the run code right now yeah yeah observe the code yeah i just got the output as 1 2 1 2 1 2 as because i just mentioned into 3 what not you can just try out your own integer inputs for example if you just want to if i just want to change my code i'll be mentioning i will changing as 2 so what we are going to get the output yeah 1 2 1 2 okay only two times you are going to get let me check it out yeah we just got the output as 1 2 1 2 in the previous one 1 2 1 2 1 2 as because we just mentioned 3 okay list slicing so obtaining a part of list is called list slicing so if you just want to if you just wanted to obtain a part of list is known as the list slicing so for example observe this particular diagram 0 1 and 2 and 3 if you just want two means uh, if you just want to access the index element as two means i have to give the list in column two so i'll be getting the output as only okay five and six as because last number will will last digit of the number will not be get giving the value right so i'll be getting the output as okay zero one so last number will not be counted for example if you just understand some particular example you'll be understanding it so for example consider this code so list underscore a is equal to five six two comma eight point two so list underscore b is uh, which is known as the i just told you right in the previous one uh, colon two so what we're going to get the output okay zero one and two so last number won't be coming so what we're going to get the output as uh, five and uh, six i am just thinking no we are going to get zero one two so we are going to get the output as six okay five one six uh, let me check it out whether i am getting the output as accurate or not let me click on the run code yeah yeah we go we got the output as five comma six it's very simple as that right it's very simple so we are just uh, using this uh, you can uh, perform the operation of slicing so uh, like this you can just uh, perform the operation but if i just mention three what we are going to get the output yeah you guys may have guessed it correct so we are going to get the output as five six and two let me click on the run code whether i'm getting the accurate output what i just mentioned yeah i got the output as yeah let me check it out five six and two yeah we got what output as five six and two okay it's very simple you can just change the numbers you can just at least underscore b uh, b you can just change out whatever the numbers you just required i just mentioned three uh, right so last number won't be printed so zero one and two so let, let us move on to the next topic extended slicing so similar to string extended slicing we can extract alternate items using the okay uh, this kind of steps extended slicing so if you just check out the following code in the code compiler you'll be understanding it more okay let me let us move on to the compiler so if you just check out the code compiler in the code given code list underscore a is equal to r b g okay o double g so what i'm going to mention in this particular code was list underscore b in the a i just want 0 5th and 3 yeah i, I just mentioned 0 5 and 3 so 0 means what we're going to get the output in the index like in, in, in the index one we're going to get r 5 means 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 there is nothing so we are not going to get the value of 5 so and next 3 we are going to get the next one so let me click on whether i am getting the correct or not okay 0 1 and 2 r and o or sh should be the or output yeah we just got the output as r and o it's very simple okay this is all about the extended slicing by using this extended slicing you can just extract the alternate items okay using this particular code so just check out this particular code it's very simple as that right so if you just uh, if you just want you can just change out the values out here 0 5 3 so each and everything you can just change out okay for 5 there is nothing right so there is no value mentioned right so we do not got any kind of output 3 means 0 1 2 3 so 3 which what place 
it is o so r and o will be your out okay so that is your output it's very simple right so let us move on to the okay next next topic yeah next topic was converting to list in order of converting to list it will be for example consider the code in order of me explaining let us go into the code playground so what i have mentioned was color is equal to red in double quotes i just mentioned a string and list of color so uh, list underscore a so i'm just uh, asking it to print the list underscore a by using this list of function so what you're going to get the output oh few of me few of you have guessed it correct and few of you have not so by using this list of color of function okay we can get the correct accurate output let me check it out by how, how we are getting the output of when we use this list of function so when i click on the run code so what i'm going to get yeah you guys have guessed it correct we'll, we are going in the we are will be getting the output in this single quotes like r e d which will be coming in the list okay in, in, by using this list of function you can just create any kind of list okay next step next one by using this range range of function so by using this range of function you can just know the range of the given list for example list underscore a list of range of four so what you what you guys were thinking will be getting the output yeah zero one two and three yeah we'll be getting the output as 0 1 2 and 3 by using this range of function you can just calculate the given list of the ranges okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the run code okay okay i'll be clicking on the run code when i click on the run code i'll be getting the output as 0 1 and 2 and 3 yeah i you know that i'll be not getting the value i mean I'll, i won't be getting the last digit one right so for example if i just change it to 5 what are you guys thinking i'm going to get the output yeah you guys guessed it right 0 1 2 and 3 and 4 yeah let me click on run code whether i'm getting the 4 1 or not yeah we got the output as 0 1 2 3 and 4 it's very simple right okay yeah so by using this range of function you can do and next coming about the mutable and immutable lists are mutable and lists can be modified at any position they can be updated okay these can be mutable mutable is nothing but changeable so list can be changed okay we can just modify its position wherever if you just want to make any kind of updations in the list you can just do it so let us consider the following code as an example so if you just check it out list underscore a one two three uh, five and print off list in the first one we are going to get one two three and five and the second one list underscore a of three means is equal to four i just mentioned right so what i'm going to uh, what i'm expecting the output be like was one two three four okay first one I, I just given two print of functions right at the first we are going to get the output as one two three and five after that i am just is equal to four right list can be updated right so i am using i am telling the compiler that at the play in the index position of three zero one two three at the fifth position i just need four as the output so that actual output should be one two three and five so i mean one two three and four okay i should get this particular output as one two three and four so at the first one i'll be getting the output as one two three and five at the second one i'll be getting the output as one two three and four it's very simple as that by use as because you can just update your okay your uh, lists in many in the program so it's very uh, as because lists are mutable okay so let me check it out whether i'm getting the output as similar or not so let me click on the run code okay uh, yeah i got the output i just mentioned two print statements right one two three and five and i just i'll be getting the after changing after updating it i'll be getting the output as one two three and four yeah it is very simple right so hope uh, this is very easy and uh, very uh, kind of e easy one that's because these are mutable okay so you can just update you can just change this position anywhere so strings are immutable immutable means can't be modified unchangeable so for example if you just check out this particular code in the code playground then you you can be uh, you'll be understanding it more so message is equal to see you soon i just mentioned right so see you soon i just mentioned and message of two is equal to e at the second po uh, second index position i just need to get e like see you soon so you may guys may thinking that okay in the list we just got of uh, one two three and four right same we'll be getting the output now no so in this particular case we won't be getting the output as uh, okay as see you soon as because these are unmutable okay immutable in which we can't just we can't be modified i mean the code can't be changed let me click on the run code okay let me check it out whether i'm getting the output as your expected or miles mine expected okay yeah let me click on the run code yeah after clicking on the run code yeah 
I got error. So what is the error in line two? Uh, string objects does not support item assignment. Okay, that means strings are immutable. Okay, the strings, the particular strings were immutable in the given code. See you soon. I have to get, but this can't be modified, right? So I I can't be getting the output as uh, see you soon, as because we are going to get the type error that strings okay, object does not support the okay item assignment. So string objects does not support the item assignments so in which we have to understand that list uh, i mean strings are unmutable you have just learned many kind of topics in this particular video right so we have learned data structures and we have learned uh, four type of data structures list uh, list uh, tuples and each and everything creating the list creating a list of lists and length of the list okay and accessing the list items okay and iterating over a list 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 concatenation adding items to the list and uh, repetition operator list slicing okay and extended slicing or converting to list and uh, yeah list lists are mutable and when whereas strings are unmutable so okay thank you so much guys thank you for watching the video until the end so please don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel vishwesh program thank you guys